Hello guys, if your PC or laptop feels slow, especially when running heavy applications or multitasking, it might be due to limited RAM. But don't worry, you don't need to buy new hardware. In this video, I'll show you how to boost your system's performance by increasing virtual memory in Windows 11 and 10. Virtual memory acts as an extension of your physical RAM, allowing your computer to handle more tasks smoothly. By adjusting the settings correctly, you can reduce lag, prevent system slowdowns, and improve overall performance. To get started, open the Windows search bar, type about, and select about your PC from the suggestions. Here, you'll find details about your installed RAM. On my system, it's 8GB, but depending on your device, it could be 16GB, 32GB, or even 64GB. To increase your virtual memory, scroll down to find Advanced System Settings and click on it. This will open the System Properties window. Under the Performance section, click on Settings, and in the Performance Options window, switch to the Advanced tab. Here, you'll find the virtual memory section, which explains that a paging file is an area on your hard drive that Windows uses as extra RAM to improve performance. Click on Change, and a new window will appear. By default, the option Automatically Manage Paging File Size for All Drives is checked. You need to uncheck this box to manually configure the settings. Next, select Custom Size, and you'll see two fields, Initial Size and Maximum Size. This is the most crucial step. Entering the correct values here will optimize your system's performance. To make this process easier to understand, here's how you calculate the correct values for virtual memory. The initial size is determined by multiplying your RAM by 1.5, and the maximum size is calculated by multiplying your RAM by 3. Since Windows measures memory in megabytes, you first need to convert your RAM from gigabytes to megabytes by multiplying it by 1024. For example, if you have 8 gigabytes of RAM, multiply 8 by 1024, which gives 8024 megabytes, 8192 megabytes. Now, for the initial size, multiply 8192 by 1.5, resulting in 12288 megabytes. Similarly, for the maximum size, multiply 8192 by 1.5, resulting in 12288 megabytes. 3, which gives 24576 megabytes. Let's quickly verify this using a calculator. First, multiplying 8 times 1024 gives 8192 megabytes. Then, multiplying 8192 times 1.5 results in 12288 megabytes, which we enter as the initial size. For the maximum size, we again multiply 8 times 1024 gives 8192 megabytes, then multiply the value with times 3, giving 24576, put this in maximum value. If you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, you follow the same process. Multiply 16 times 1024 to get the total in megabyte multiplied by 1.5 for the initial size. Multiply by 3 for the maximum size. For 32 gigabytes RAM, you use 32 times 1024, then follow the same multiplications. You can take a screenshot of this method for reference. Once you have entered the correct values, click on set, then OK, and close the window. Finally, restart your PC to apply the changes. After rebooting, you should notice improved system performance as your virtual memory has been effectively increased. That's all for today guys. I'm confident that increasing your virtual RAM will significantly improve your system's performance. If you've been experiencing high memory usage, lag, or overall slow performance, this method should help resolve those issues and make your PC run much smoother. If you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel for more tech tips and solutions. Also, if you have any questions or need further assistance, feel free to drop a comment below and I'll be happy to help. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.